um, isolation. Propaganda? The first thing that comes to mind, the feeling of seclusion is closed off from the rest of the world. So it's really hard to know what's going on there. Um, you just hear things on the news occasionally. You just don't feel very um, related to them at all. Uh, I'd say dictatorship, kind of a conflict between North and South Korea. Um, the Sun Missile Defense, it's, it's a big mess right now. Well, that one, the nuclear testing, uh, beyond that, not much. That to spend more money on military than anything else. There's a lot of people dying. Just the whole political issue going on with um, their dictatorship government and the general suppression of the citizens. Kim Jong-un, the concentration camps, uh, they're really strict laws, dramatic political acts. People are suffering from hunger, social inequality between the state and the majority of the people. The military state is strongly against imperialism in the U.S. They want to create a one big Korea. So there's a lot of like mistrust between the state of North Korea and um, other countries. There's a big political issue in China, South Korea, US because of the missile defense system. Autonomy that the countries have, how much they're willing to risk giving up their autonomy for greater safety in the area and how that influences the diplomacy of that country. I think not very many. Um, under 100 maybe? Uh, not a lot. It's thousands, I'd say. 50. Maybe 200? 150? 8,000. Well, I want to know their experience. I want to know about their country, what they missed their experiences in being a refugee, where they traveled to, how they got here. Probably just ask them like, what do they think about their leader? How much do they know about the actual world outside of North Korea? What it's like to live in a country like North Korea. I mean, all I hear is from the news, so I would really want to hear about it from a personal perspective. Is there an underground economy going on? How are people dealing with finding needs for themselves? How did you do? How did you survive? Why uh, did you decide to escape? Do you still have family in North Korea? I would have plenty of questions. 